We at McGee Women's Research Institute believe that women's research should be first and foremost instead of an afterthought. Each group of professionals wakes up every day with different challenges, but a common goal, and that is to improve women's lives and the various conditions that they suffer from. We have a new therapy that I'm hoping is just a couple of years away from the clinic, which will actually block the metastasis of ovarian cancer and maybe even other cancer types too, as we've started to study its role in breast cancer and lung cancer and colon cancer. With amniocentesis or chorionic villus sampling, these invasive tests, the risk can be quite significant. So I felt that any risk because of a medical procedure, a diagnostic procedure, was unacceptable. That was really what motivated me to explore alternatives. In this case, it became a blood test that, that you know, is replacing, has the potential to replace that invasive test. We are in the process of providing new reproductive options for patients who used to have no options. An example of that is young kids who are receiving chemotherapy or radiation treatments for cancer. Today, we can provide options to preserve the fertility of both young boys and young girls so that after they survive their cancer, uh, they can still realize the dream of having their own family. My dream for any young woman is that they can walk into a pharmacy and they can buy a product that can protect them from sexually transmitted infections that can guard their fertility. And my dream is also that a young woman in Zimbabwe or South Africa can also make that journey and select those products. There's very few people who are fortunate enough to work in a place that can really change the course of health and wellness for humankind. I feel we're one of those.